Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Pastor Pierre. Listen, I want you to have the best week ever, that your best is not in the future, but your best is right now, that you have the ability and I have the ability to reach into the future and pull it into the now and make it a now thing, that the glory of God, which is the reality of heaven, it's not futuristic, but it is now. So I think that one of the things that we have to do is we begin a new week uh, at the beginning of a new month, it is now April 2018, is that we forgive ourselves for not being where we thought we were going to be. That uh, everything that has happened has all been a part of God's plan. And oftentimes, God will send us uh, to the wilderness. The Bible says that I've led her out into the wilderness, or I've sent her into the wilderness so that I could speak to her there. That God had to get you and God had to get me into a wilderness season, into a wilderness time in our lives, just so he could talk to us and show us the trajectory of our lives, show us uh, our divine authenticity that we may walk into it, uh, that God will send us to the valley. That's what God did with a man by the name of Elisha, that his first assignment was in the valley. And why is that? Because God needed him to now go through that valley experience so that he could now get to the mountaintop and look back and say, look what the Lord has brought me from and now and, and brought me through. And now that I've gotten to this place in my assignment, in my destiny, in my divine authenticity, there is nothing that is too hard for the Lord. So as as it is as it was with Elijah, same it is with you as it is with me, that there's nothing that is too hard for God and that uh, we just have to uh, come to that place where we practice the pause and say, you know what, it didn't work out like I thought it was going to work out. Uh, the plan wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but the reality is that my plan B was really God's plan A. So be encouraged, have a wonderful week, and understand that when you're in the problem, you're in the solution, it's all been a part of the course that God has predestined for your life. And uh, yeah, man, there is a miracle and there is supernatural ramifications behind your yes to God. So you say yes in this season, you say yes in wherever you may be, even in the midst of your plan and your, your, your thoughts and your desires not coming to pass when you thought they were, there are supernatural ramifications behind your yes to God. So I love you. I'm praying for you. Have a wonderful week.